Uh, this is Carolyn with Carolyn's Paper Therapy. And uh, this morning I wanted to share with you uh, another new project that I made with the Sweetest Tea Party Collection from Shabby Art Boutique. Uh, this kit is available for uh, craft room membership memberships only. Um, but the project could be made with any kit of Carrie Ann's. Uh, everything that she makes is beautiful and also uh, coordinates um, well with each other. So here we go. I want to show you what I made. This is a an ephemera holder. It could be a journal turned uh, sideways, which I've thought about, but I wanted to do smaller projects this time. So this is an ephemera holder. And um, I decided to tie it closed with this eyelash yarn just because I think it's really pretty. It doesn't need to be tied closed at all. But um, I got this yarn because I saw it on somebody else's page where they had used it as a tie. So the trick is to keep it from getting tangled up, I think. <laughs> okay, what got me started on this was the teapot. Um, in uh, the elements files, there are a full page, um, um, full page of an item that's in the kit, and you can um, size it to any size that you want. And what I did was uh, uploaded it on my Cricut, sized it to the size that would fit on a half of a page like this, and um, print and cut it. You could also upload it to a Word document and size it and print it out and cut it out. Uh, I'm no expert at that stuff. I'm just playing around with it and trying to learn uh, the different things that I can do to make uh, things different and easier really for me. So I've been using my Cricut a lot for printing and cutting, which is, uh, has been a wonderful time saver for me. Okay, what I did was print out one of the background sheets front and back with a pattern, cut off the uh, white edges and folded it in half. And the reason I turned it this way was because that's the way the teapot fit on it. <clears throat> I decided to uh, use another paper um, to kind of create a frame for the uh, teapot. And I decided to use the one with the handwriting and the, uh, the uh, antique looking handwriting. So I just cut that slightly smaller. Let me measure for you, so you know the measurements on this. Um, the overall little booklet here is eight and a quarter by about five and a quarter. And then the smaller item is just, um, I just cut it smaller so that there would be a frame. So it's no set size. I punched the corners with my uh, my corner punch, decorative corner punch. This thing is a is hard to use. You have to stand up to push down on it, but I really like the corners that it makes. Um, just adds a little something. You know, when you're creating this stuff, um, it it's tempting to just keep adding something. You could always do more, um, but I thought that's a nice touch. I use it when I think of it. Okay, uh, as normal, I ink around everything, and I use the um, uh, this tea dye color in the Distress Oxide. You can see where I sit my stamper on top of there. Um, okay, so then I put down the teapot and arrange these... Um, smaller um, fussy cuts around it. The little girls having a tea party and the stack of teacups. I trimmed the top edge of the teapot with some very delicate lace that I have in my pearls. And I put the bow on the little knob and I used the, um, the uh, puffy tape stuff to put underneath the bow to give it three dimensional. I glued it in the center and put a rhinestone. This uh, time for tea is from the kit, and I just um, cut out 
a piece of, um, it's kind of like a lace background. Uh, I just cut that out to be a little larger and glued that on our teapot. At the bottom, I have some pretty lace that hangs over the edge. This is my pretty paper flowers uh, with a rhinestone in the middle. And these little white flowers, I went looking for tiny flowers that I could use. Um, and a lot of them come in little packages or whatever. I couldn't find what I wanted. So I found a couple of garlands and um, I have them hanging on the doorknob on my closet in here and I can just go snip off these little flowers and add them to our projects. I did glue this on before I did the inside and I would suggest that you wait to do that uh, to decorate the inside because it made it, made, made it hard for me. So let's open it up and take a look. What I did inside was create two pockets. They are um, the same, that same handwriting paper. And I covered it with some lace that still let the uh, handwriting show through. On this top one, I used the little teapot and, and teacup. And this is from Simply Roses kit. Uh, this is just some background paper that I stamped, especially for you and cut out with my decorative scissors. And the bottom one has the little girls having a tea party. And uh, the saying is stamped on the decorative cutout paper again. And another uh, rose from the Simply Roses. And I'll show you what's inside the pockets. I felt like this could be used as sort of a journal too because there's room to write here and there's quite a bit of uh, journaling space on the back of these pieces that I put inside the pocket. Uh, you could also use this if you were gonna give it to a friend to tuck a letters inside or a write something on these uh, just as a gift, like a greeting card. <clears throat> okay, what I put in this pocket was one of the postcards. And I print everything on the back with a background paper so that it's pretty to write on. This is one of the larger tags, the lace larger tag. And uh, I glued on the bouquet of roses. And then I had to cut off the bottom so that it would fit down in this pocket and not hang over the edge. This is one of the little uh, journal cards that has a saying on it that says, there is always time for tea. And then I wanted to include some tea, uh, tea bags. So this is some tea bags that I have that I got at Christmas time. And this is mulled apple cider. And I just took one of my little four inch doilies and stapled it on here and covered the staple with one of the little postage stamps from the kit. And that just makes it so that it tucks in there and looks really pretty. And on the bottom, um, I'll show you what's in that pocket. These two uh, items were side by side in the kit, so I just cut them out together and then folded it in half to make a little booklet. And I stenciled inside with my flower uh, stencil. This is another uh, tag that is larger and I cut off the bottom to fit in this pocket. And I have a smaller version of that postcard. And this uh, journal card with a little saying on it that says, uh, tea time is me time. And then I've included another um, tea bag that's uh, strawberry cream, and I fixed it the same way, and I took it right in the pocket. And I put some lace on the outside back cover so it would match the front and give us a ruffled edge. On the back, I just uh, placed the journal card of the little girl drinking tea and there's our lace. So that's all there is to this. Um, this uh, I have two more I want to make. 
uh, they didn't take it didn't take a lot of time once I got everything cut out and ready to go. And I think it's fun to see all the different ways that you can use the elements uh, from these kits or any kit to uh, create something that looks different each time. Your same basics, basic idea, but the, uh, the look of it is different. So I encourage you to play around with yours and um, uh, see what you come up with. Uh, I made this video, uh, a video last night uh, to showing this and uh, all I did was stutter and stammer through the whole thing. I, I couldn't think of words, I couldn't focus. I said, uh, which I do too much anyway, but like every other word. And so I just couldn't post it today. I had to try to do this again. Uh, you know, sometimes things come along in our lives that get us all kind of stressed and our, we lose our focus. And so um, I got regrouped this morning and I'm doing better today, uh, thinking of my words and staying on uh, track to what I'm trying to tell you. Uh, you'll hear me in my videos, and I think I've mentioned this before, you'll hear me pause. And when I pause, it's a word I can't think of. And I don't know what it is. I'm not nervous about doing the videos. I talk to you just like you're, you were in a classroom sitting across from me. And um, I've done that many times. And so it's not stressful to me, but I just can't think of the words. And so I have to say something. So I have to pause and figure out what I'm going to say. I don't have any kind of text here written or anything. I just talk like I'm teaching. So I hope you've uh, enjoyed this video and it will inspire you to make some of these. Um, these would make great gifts and um, they don't take too long and all the elements are there for you to use. There's uh, so many that you will not run out. And I would suggest too that you use these little ones uh, on some tags and um, I may do some of those. But uh, some of the tags are plain, and so you can use these little elements on the tags and some lace and have some real pretty tags to put down in your pockets, too. So I have uh, one more project in the works for this kit, and I, who knows, I may come up with another one. Um, it's just beautiful, and I, it's my favorite, I think, so far. So um, I'll be back uh, before you know it, so I'll see you soon.